In the Canon's Yeoman's Tale, in the Canterbury Tales, two strangers approach the company on very tired horses, a Canon and his Yeoman. Harry Bailey asks them to tell a tale, and the Yeoman reveals that the Canon is a joker who is capable and sly. As Harry Bailey questions the Yeoman further, it becomes clear that the Canon is an alchemist skilled in trickery. The Canon, overhearing his Yeoman giving away so many secrets, flees. The Yeoman then begins a story that is based on his own experiences. In part one, the Yeoman shares how hard his work for the Canon has been and how it has taken a toll on his health and happiness. He has so much debt he can never hope to repay. He lists the chemicals and preparations the Canon's workers would make and the dangers they faced, but says that all their efforts have failed. In part two, the Canon borrows money from a priest and in return offers to show the priest a miracle. The priest enthusiastically accepts. The miracle is a trick in which a magic powder appears to turn mercury into real silver. The canon has the priest place mercury and the powder in a crucible. Then, through some sleight of hand, the canon simply adds real silver to the pot while the mercury boils off. Needless to say, the powder never works for the priest and the canon disappears. The canon's yeoman ends his story by warning the company not to become involved in alchemy because clearly God dislikes the practice. Alchemy was a practice forbidden by the church. Alchemists were supposedly trying to achieve transmutation with a mysterious substance they sought called the Philosopher's Stone that could transform common metals into gold. Many alchemists were frauds and con men who used their knowledge to create the impression that they were performing miracles. Trickery plays an important role in the plot of this story. The alchemist and his employees are driven to continue despite financial ruin and risk of bodily harm, and despite never having any success. The situational irony is that the compulsive pursuit of riches leads to financial ruin. The yeoman admits that the only transmutations alchemy seems to achieve is wealth to poverty. He adds that alchemy also creates misery. The yeoman says that alchemists have a pungent brimstone smell and describes the hot fires and dangerous explosions that fill their working hours. The moral of the canon's yeoman's tale is that practicing alchemy will lead a person to hell.